Hi, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Shy. And I'm Winter. And we're back again with another one. We have the same outfits on as last week because it is still the same day for us. So just zip it. Zip it. Please. But um, we just wanted to give you guys a little something. We are currently in Japan right now for my birthday. And we have no days off. No days off. Yes, we have no days off. So we got to get this done for you guys. Mm -hmm. And just as a thank you for supporting us for as long as you guys have, we wanted to give you a little Japan vlog. So... <laughs> so check, check it, it out. out right okay, you guys. So we officially made it to the LAX airport. So let's talk about how Delta is ass. Delta is shit. What airline is really actually even good anymore? Because Delta delayed our flight by three hours. Yeah. And when I was just coming back home from Florida, they delayed my flight six times. Okay. That's insane. And wouldn't even let me cancel the flight until the next day when I had already had to spend another $600 to get a new flight on America. How do you not want to let me cancel the flight? That's crazy. Literally wouldn't let me cancel the flight because it wouldn't let me do it online, wouldn't let me do it through the chat because the, the, um, the time was so long. Mm -hmm. So then the, the, when they finally got back to me, it was the next day and I had already had to buy a new flight for $600. That's insane. That's actually really crazy. And I had to put a request in for a refund. I don't even know if I got it. You better look. $1,400. That's crazy. Literally, y'all tell me your tell me your favorite uh, airline because we ready to ditch Delta. Yeah, I'm ready to ditch Delta. I'm an elite medallion member, and it don't even it don't even say it. It don't even. Sh yeah, don't get her first I class. I am a better. I am a better client. Than she got platinum card. So. Platinum Amex. Platinum medallion member on Delta. So she booked oh. a Michelin star for her birthday. Because I've always wanted to go to like a Michelin star restaurant. Y'all know I'm a tourist, I'm a foodie. Like I'm big into the food industry and I've always wanted to be a part of it. So I booked this expensive ass dinner for us. Not no generic shit, like this real top of the line. It's like one of the top restaurants in the world. But I, we had to cancel the reservation because of the flight delay. Tell me why that shit cost me $1,300 USD. $1,300 is insane. It was insane. 300 and something dollars each person per guest to cancel so I, I didn't know it was that expensive yes it, it is very expensive but I mean this is what I really wanted to do yeah so I put my Amex on freeze which oh. I didn't think was a good idea but I get it hopefully it doesn't go through do you when you freeze it can you unfreeze it at any time yes you can oh, okay that's, that's after weird. seven days you can unfreeze it but I'm like is it gonna be a pending charge do I need to cancel this card because I will cancel that day I'm not taking my money for nothing and it's, it's in Japan, like $1,300 out there is yeah. a lot of fucking money. That is a lot. Damn, I was just, you know me, I'm a finesse queen. I try to figure it out a way we can go there and be like, can we just get in? All right, you guys, so we will just be here chilling. We're gonna go get currency exchange, and then after that, huh? Shy and Winter take Tokyo. Wait, are we in Tokyo? What? Yeah, Shy and Winter take Tokyo. Yeah, for Winter's birthday. All right, love you. Bye. Hey. Winter's best friend, Dom. Everybody has red. Everything has braids. Rhythm has braids. I know. Braids. There's only two people. Right? I'm like, what? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's half. I put the braids in, and somebody was like, "Oh, you must be going on vacation." Talking about every black girl got braids. <laughs> right, literally. That's but, it. Uh, wait. So where is it? You know what it is? Yeah. Okay. Y'all don't be putting on windshield wipers here? I've been thinking that's the So we landed. Right now, Tokyo is giving very much rain, very much also New York. Yeah, it's New York. So it's giving New York. So this is our first stop. Have you seen your friends yet? You got friends out here? <laughs> She's from Japan, bitch. She's Japanese. When you move to America? All right, well, now keep my eye. It's hilarious. Oh, wait, we're all filming. This is all being filmed. <laughs> please. Projection! Right, we're getting our drinks. We're getting our drinks. Round number two. Double fisting. Oh, I got the video. Wow. Alright, so everybody's 
everybody go around everybody go around the table and say something. I hate people to do this, but it's for, it's for the vlog. I just want to say that honestly, she's such a light in my life and her pussy's hot. <laughs> Alright, you go. Go Dom. <laughs> no, you know I get emotional. She can't no. compete with that. She Dom? Don wrote a poem. Not a Harajuku. Yeah, I no, know a haiku. Poem. That's it. That's it. No, just say something. I can die tomorrow, bro. I'm just gonna say she's not gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> she's about to cry. Really? I was there when she had her daughter. I've been friends with her for years. She's gonna say what I gotta say. <laughs> Wait, what? She's, I'm gonna say what she has to say. Alright, well, give me. I'll say something. Okay. Good. She's a dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest of the month. The dumbest of the month. No. Uh, you know, we're all here for winter. We love winter. We support winter. We congratulate winter on all of our accomplishments winner, winner, all the time. Winner. winner, winner, chicken dinner. We love you. We're here for you. For life. Cheers. Neighbors, no favors. Falling out, so we're falling out. Sorry, y'all gotta go. Y'all got rid of enough of your friends falling out. We're doing it no more. Any argument we have? We fix it. We fix it. We fix it. Okay, so, so they, they charge a cover charge of ten dollars mm -hmm. per person and then they charge a 10 percent service fee uh do they have liquor here yeah right here okay. yeah we got hookah yo these shots are like six no yeah they are why are they giving us a small shot? They're like, sweet. These are literally small shots. That was so small. Is the alcohol stronger or something? Because like it's no. right here. Look, every, every time every time we say something about Japan, uh, rhythm, rhythm be like, like <laughs> Rhythm be like, well I mean don't uh be don't be fucking <laughs> She's gonna be racist like twelve times. <laughs> on a table or y'all want to sit at the bar? Let's just go to the bar. Hey! Okay. We yeah, we're just that. lost. On, we're done. We're done. We're done. Let's just go grab food. We're done. Yeah. I'd love to go to a little market though. No, let's go to the market. I don't think they would close the market down this early. We'll leave the market at 1230. Ooh, smells fresh. So if you want to continue watching the rest of the Japan footage, head on over to our Patreon. The link will be below to check everything else out. We love you so much. Thank you for your love and support. We do this all for you. Head on over. So let's get into the question of the day. We Oh, they don't know. That is not everything, guys. That's what I said. If you want to see no. the rest of the footage. Oh, 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 oh. The rest of the footage. The rest of... This is oh. only... No, 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 no. I'm saying that's not all of the episode. We have, we have more than just the Japan footage today. They gonna see the minutes on the, on the screen? Oh. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> 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 go ahead. Hopefully it's a little longer than we expected because we really don't know much. But no, the question of the day is... What is the number one thing you love about yourself? Mentally or physically? Um, they said not physically. Ah, I would say I love my resilience. 
Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? I love I have a fat, juicy ass. Yeah, yeah no, it's physical. So you love your resilience? Okay. Yeah, I love my resilience. I love that I am able to roll with the punches always. Mm. There has never been anything that will you know, lay me on my ass. I think a lot of people don't realize that about me. I feel like a lot of people try to knock me down with but words. But you get up 10? But you cannot knock me down. I have been through 400 times worse than your little raggedy words could ever do to me. So Period. I'm just a resilient queen. What about you? <laughs> uh, this is going to be so... Emotional. Cliche. Oh. <laughs> but everyone already should know what my favorite thing about me is. I feel like my vigor for life. Vigor for life. New word, huh? New word, huh? Somebody gonna be like, vigor as a new word is crazy. <laughs> I don't really, I don't use that word, so. I think that um, my favorite thing about me is that um, I love my personality. I really do. I feel like I have an infectious personality. I feel like that it sounds so boastful to talk about yourself in that sense, but I really mm -hmm. do. Like, I, I'm in love with who I am as a person. I'm very confident in who I am mm -hmm. as a person. And it's like, I know if you wouldn't even see me face to face, mm -hmm. drop dead gorgeous, but you wouldn't <laughs> even care about that. It's literally just about who I am as a person and how I can make other people feel as well. Because I feel like, you know, when someone else, when I see someone else feels good from something that I've said or I've done or mm -hmm. how I've made them feel, it, it genuinely makes me feel mm -hmm. good. So I feel like that for me is just. An infectious personality. Yeah. I love that about myself. Okay, I have a question. What? What is our favorite thing about each other? Loving. This is so loving. So loving. My favorite thing about you is your personality. <sighs> and your humor. You know, your humor first, personality second. I feel like your, your personality, your humor is hilarious. People really don't realize how funny she really is. She is really hilarious. But your humor first, okay. and secondly... Your personality, because I feel like your personality is like when you really know, you know, it's so like, it's like a little gift. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know it. And it's only true can really experience her in her true form. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. even on the podcast, I feel like people have gotten to know you better. But me on knowing you on such a personal, like damn near sister level mm -hmm. of like just us chilling at home. Like, just you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, mm -hmm. it's like a, it's like a, it's like a little gym. Is it really so is. It's loving. like it's like a gym. I will say for you, same. Your personality <laughs> and your humor. It's just the same. Yeah. Like literally, I. I mean, I don't know. Like you just you make. I know that you can get along with everybody, mm -hmm. which is just great. Because I feel like you have so many strengths that I lack. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that you're the type of person I could bring around anybody and you're going to just automatically get along. You're going to make everybody laugh. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that if I bring you, like, everybody's going to be so happy. Like, oh, my God, yes, <laughs> bring Shy. Like, yes, we want her around. Like, no, I heard with Millie when we were doing, when we had, it was a... Uh, St. Patrick's Day, I or Millie was like, with Shy Ron, I just feel like I want to drink now. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, it's just a I good time. It? It's always a good time. It's always going to be fun. Like, everything is a little bit less interesting and less fun if Shy is not there. So yeah. that is 100% what I love. She's hilarious. Obviously, she's my best friend. We, like, we just get each other yeah. so well. We just understand. Yeah, and that's the sad thing about, uh, that's why I say it's like a personal level of you that I, people don't really see. It's, it's sad to me that people don't see the version that I see of you sometimes. And that's why, mm -hmm. like, my favorite part of you is, like, when we're just chilling. You know it's what I'm saying? It's a little secret. It is. It's a little secret <laughs> little pocket. In my little pocket. You know what I'm saying? My best friend that I keep <laughs> But, yeah, definitely. High five. High five set. Now what's our ix? <laughs> <laughs> my ick about, oh. Well, oh, my God, I'll keep no. I'll ix. You, no, you go first. No, 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 you tell me first. No, because you already have one on lock, because I don't have any on lock yet, so I got to think. Well, mine's just funny. Okay, what is it? Mine is Shy will literally, okay, Shy will be having a conversation with you in her head, and then all of a sudden she will just blurt out the conversation. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, she'll be like this. Oh, yeah, and then the brown table with the gray <laughs> table. And I'm like, what are you talking? Where is the beginning of the yeah. sentence? Like, you, she literally will start a topic, and like, I won't know what she's talking about. Because I'll be thinking, time. you should know where my head at when I'm thinking about it. This <laughs> but moment. it'll be, it'll time. be so out the wall. Like, she'll be. Like, and then another thing about that girl, and I'm like, what girl? <laughs> Who are we? We talking talked about, about this three hours ago. Keep up. Remember what I no, said? No, it'll be days before, <laughs> and she'll like want you to just know what you're talking about. I'm yeah. like, bro, I can't, I can't keep track. I cannot. That's a cute ick. That's a cute ick. Do you have cute icks? I, okay, I have to think. I already of. know your icks about me. What is it? 
I act like a mom. Yes. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Because I did not know what to say. I was like, I don't know where I where. I be micromanaging. Micromanaging acts like yeah. a mother. At like, mommy, don't worry. My mom is still here. She's gonna be on the show a little later. Don't worry. I have a a, a, a literal teenage mother right next no, to me. I just be liking things to be safe and fun. Yeah, and I remember sure. always being like, my mom is like, if they jump off a bridge, would you? I'm like. I'm the one jumping off the bridge first. I don't understand. I'm what like, no, says. I'm not jumping off the bridge. <laughs> like, I am. I'm the one going to be jumping off. And they're going right. to be like, okay, we'll do it. But no, you do be daring me a lot. And I'm like, bitch, am I your little clown? And be like, all right, let's go next. Like, no. I know you'll do it. No, I'm just <laughs> no yeah, I know. I yeah, know that, that is an ick of me. That, that is an ick. Like little how bit earlier of I was like, be on time to the airport tomorrow and don't forget your passport. Yeah, and I literally was like, who asked you this? Did I ask you all of these things? Like, I don't know, like, why? No, I literally said, I was like, I am informing you now. I will be leaving without you. That's yes. just such a parent. I'll be leaving you if you're not on time. Yeah. Don't forget your passport. And like, I expect nothing less. <laughs> I literally do expect nothing less. That's just how it is. Yeah, I think I that's probably it. Um, that's just my nurturing Taurus instinct. What else is one? Oh, I bet you got a lot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> She'd be hounding me sometimes. Like, if I don't answer the phone, yeah. and I literally genuinely, like, try to stay away from my phone sometimes, she'll yeah. answer. Or she'll text and be like, I hope you're not dead. Yeah. I'm like, bro, it's and been it 30 minutes. And it annoys me about her and that she is so, like, just wants to just be on her own and, like... Sorry that I'm an independent whatever. young lady. <laughs> Sorry that I have my own shit to do. Just like, and it'll okay. literally be like, I'll leave my phone. I, prime example, the other day. I was at one of my friend's houses and I literally had my phone on the table and I was talking to her for like 30 minutes. Five missed calls, three texts. It was 45 it was minutes if you were supposed to have been at my house. No, okay. And, and she's seen and my I location. And I had a question. And she said, I seen your location. Yeah. You see the location is right down the street. I was like, bro, I did not have my phone on me. But that's probably it. Yeah. I know. What's that's very one? true about me. Um, it is hot. It really is hot. What's here. annoying about you? Many of things. No, I, I don't say know. more. No, I'm just kidding. Just when she gets when she gets mad, it is annoying, because I know when she gets mad like that. Yeah, and I'd be one in my like oh like that, <laughs> like that. Like she gets like really serious, and I'd be like, oop, mm -hmm. like zip it. Y'all think that this little rat don't have a freaking temper, and she does. <laughs> she does I actually. Have a bit. She's I not like a bad temper, but like she does get annoyed. Yeah, and when sometimes I get annoyed, a little easily, not yeah. easily, but kind no. Of my annoyed. mom actually said that today. She yeah. literally was just like, I mean, not today, the other day. She was just like, "Do you need some nerve pills?" First of all, mind you, my cycle's been on five times in a month, so literally, it is happening right now again. So I have to go to the gynecologist when yeah. we get back from Tokyo. We well, this we're out. back from Tokyo, huh? I said, yeah, we got to figure that out. Yeah, because it has in like literally two months, <clears throat> my cycles come on like five times. Yeah, that's very odd. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm also, y'all, I'm taking probiotics now. So, literally, my vagina's been the squeakiest. I'm just laughing that you, <laughs> because she texted me, and she was like, I started taking probiotics. I get way less discharge now. And I'm like, why are these things It I was randomly, <laughs> and I was like, you can't never take no dirty panty pics of me because I ain't got much discharge now. That's all you Back needed. Back in the day. All you needed was a little probiotic. Them little crusty panties was all over Oh, my God. Crusty panties is crazy. Your mom is right there. <laughs> Look. All right. Speaking of my mom, yes. so I asked our um, Behind the Likes pod page that, you know, I told y'all that my mom was going to be here. So she is going to make her little cameo. She's extremely nervioso. So. Nervioso? <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all know I'm Latina now. I speak Duolingo. Oh, Duolingo. Nervioso. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. So we are going to have Miss Cynthia, aka Mommy, aka Mother, aka the baddest bee around, um, coming on to answer a few of y'all questions. So we will give you that in a minute. Come on over. Yep. She is here making her debut. <laughs> <laughs> my mommy, the sweetest lady in the absolute <laughs> world. My queen, my love, my mommy darling is here. She's my Tallulah Bell. Okay, you gotta speak a little louder. You gotta speak a little louder than that. All right, speak like how you used to yell at me back in the day. <laughs> Shariel. No, no, I know you're so nervous, but thank you for coming here because we need the content. We need the yeah. footage. And they've been asking for you, mm -hmm. mommy. They love your mm -hmm. reviews. They yes. love your uh, 
They love everything about you, I just really, like me. I be a little bit too real. I know yeah, and that's why I stopped asking for her. Okay, I know, that's why you told <laughs> me to go. a little long. I'd be like, all right. Uh, all right, that's enough. She'd be like, you and Winner are doing too much right now. And I'm like, I don't want to hear nothing else. Because you know when your mama started, it's like when you tell a joke and your mama started giving a, a, a life speech and a lecture. I'm like, yes. baby, I don't care no more. I don't care. This is my job. <laughs> this pay my bills. This pay my bills. <clears throat> I'm crying. Yeah, well, well, thank I'm happy you for to coming. Be here. Yes. Thank you for thank coming. You. Thank Kaden, you. how does she sound? I'm a little nervous, but uh, I'm I'm happy to be here. Make sure we we only have a few minutes. Yeah, she you don't want to be out here for too long. So you guys, we asked you guys some questions. Well, Shy asked mm -hmm. on our BTL page, and she was wondering if you guys had any questions for your, her mom. And y'all, y'all showed up and showed out. There is so many yeah. questions. I definitely want to get into some. The first question. No, I no, no. Wait, before this, have, I want to say no. I want to say that I did not want it to just be just my mom because I know my mom needed probably a little filler. Mm -hmm. So I hit your mom up. Oh my. I hit her up, and literally, this is what she said to me. No. I said, um, I said, good morning, Miss Melissa. My mom is going to come on the podcast, blah, blah, blah. I said, I, you know, I wanted went to incorporate winter into two, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I said, this is like FaceTime for George, because I told her about Google Meet. You actually should do that. Are she, we FaceTiming my mom? No. So this oh. is what she said. So I told her about Google oh. Meet, and I was like, you know, she said, I have an iPhone, LOL. She, Slight she flex. don't have no iPhone. Slight, no, uh, she said an iPad. She yeah, said, I no, bought her an iPad. I have an iPad. Hello, Slight flex. I see you, Miss Melissa. <laughs> she said, "Thanks for the invite, baby." But really, I didn't take that speech in college for exactly this reason. I would do it if I was if I have to. Thing, but I cringe and vomit a little at the idea. Mm -hmm. She said, I'd rather be eaten half alive by jaws in the ocean at night, if I'm honest. I said, okay, baby, we don't want all that. She's my mother, you can <laughs> tell. Literally, your mother. I was just like, all right, yeah. I guess. My mom is not, she don't really. I'm going to call her by surprise one of these days and be like, so I got a question people. for you. She don't, my mom don't like people just the way I don't like people. Yeah, She's literally. really my mother. But, um... I'm what? happy that you're here, though. We're happy that we you're here. Somebody. We got somebody. We got somebody. My dad didn't want to come at all. He doesn't support me, actually. No, I'm just kidding. He does. Yes, he does. <laughs> but it's 420 weekend, so. <laughs> He's having his fun. He's hanging out in L.A. Exactly. Wait, so what's the first question? Well, I wanted to ask a first question because I know you guys all want to know about, obviously, Shy and her childhood and everything like that. But there was a question I saw, and it was, was there any time when you were watching the podcast that you were like, this isn't a good idea. They shouldn't do it. No. 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 And I, I, Shy's got a big personality, mm -hmm. and it's 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 strange the way that <clears throat> you guys are different, but so very much alike. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it really work. So no, I, I didn't think you've I, always supported us. Yeah, she's yeah. always supported. Always us. been supportive. Yeah. Have you ever looked at the podcast sometimes and been like, "Oh, you shouldn't have said that." Yeah. <laughs> she would yeah. be like, "No, she's literally been like." Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Let Winter be the wild one telling all her business. You ain't gonna do all of that. Yeah, exactly. That is That's correct. That's why I was like, because you know, Shy is a these Southern man. That is correct. Is, is enough. She said it on the review. I was like, I'm not about to post that one. Uh, that is correct. Yes. I think sometimes you just go a little bit too deep. That everybody, everything ain't for everybody. Like my crusty yeah. peenies. Definitely. Yeah, she was just looking at that light. Definitely. Now, why would you say that? <laughs> Mommy be bringing out her little parachute panties. <laughs> yeah, don't put my business on no podcast. <laughs> a little purple thong. Okay, let's get to house. the I'm questions about Shariel. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously, I just feel like I already know the answer, but what was Shy like as a kid? Shy was bossy. Oh, I got the same thing as a child. Yeah, Shy Twin. was bossy. Okay, tell that story. I could tell when she was in uh, school, when she was in kindergarten uh -huh. and in first grade as well. Uh, she was, I went to school and uh, she was, I said, no, I asked her, Shai, what did you do at school today, sweetheart? And she said, I played on the wall. I'm like, you played on the wall? What do you mean you play on the wall? And I play with my fingers. This is the king and the queen and the jack. And I was like, oh, my God. It's like, you don't play with anyone? She's like, no, they don't want to play with me. Oh, unpopular. Yes. And so I went to school and bought cupcakes. And, and I remember making those cupcakes. They were like little worm, mud, cupcakes. worm cupcakes. Oh, I love them. I, it's crazy how you remember certain things in your yeah. childhood. I literally remember those little cupcakes in pre-K. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, everybody would play with her. But I she also had another that. friend as a, as a no, young don't teenager. Don't tell the story. No. <laughs> as a, I think she, she was nearly a teenager at that point, And she had a friend. And she's like, look, you can't come over to my house anymore unless you call me queen. <gasps> It was shy. I wasn't a teenager. I was in third grade. No, and it was because no, no she, she was, was not true. She was, it was about 
Eight, no. She must have been about we were 10 in third or grade. It was because she did not invite me to her birthday party. So I was like, you're going you gonna to make it up to me some way. You're going to call me queen. You're going to call me queen. She invited she everybody was, in the neighborhood to her birthday party except me. And I was really hurt because about Because Shy was bossy. And, but she did start calling her queen, too. <laughs> no, she didn't. She, she did say And mommy, mommy actually heard that while, you know, the house phones back in the day. Yeah. And she was like, ah. Get off the phone with her right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, no, we actually are similar because you know what? When I was in high school for one, I went to this one high school for one year. I lied to everybody and told them my name was Princess and I made everybody call me Princess. <laughs> and to this day, sometimes people who know me from that high school go, hey, Princess, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, that is not my name. Like, I fooled all of you. Like, literally, and you over here have your nickname, call me Queen. Right, yeah. Queen. I'm Princess. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is hilarious. What questions do you have, Shy, uh, wait, that you want to bring? Look at them. <clears throat> well, obviously, that one. They uh, they also want to know a lot of marriage questions because mm. they know from watching the podcast that you've been married for many. How long have you been married? Uh, Forty nine years. Forty nine years is crazy. And, and I have a funny story to tell about I, that. And I still love my husband. She's obsessed. she does. She really does. You. She just posted a video the other day and was like, she's so obsessed with him. Actually, Shai tells me all the time, my mom is so obsessed with me. <laughs> I tell my husband, I'm like, she's so obsessed. She's so obsessed with my dad. And it's so honestly, it really is so sweet seeing it as an adult and just how loving they are and mm -hmm. how sweet that they are together. It really just warms my little old heart, yeah. you know? Because after 49 years, I feel like I would be over somebody. I'd yeah, like, and she literally still, first of all, she just told me today, I never thought my mom, because my mom has only been with my dad, whack, but um, <laughs> <laughs> she's only ever been with my dad, but I never thought she was attracted. Like, she obviously, I know she has a type, because mm -hmm. my dad looks the way he looks. She's been obsessed with him forever. She just said today that oh. she was attracted to Robert De Niro. <laughs> she, and she said that in front of my dad, and he started laughing. He was like, <laughs> He, he just thought it was right. funny. He just thought it was funny. They, when, once you reach a certain point, yeah. I think, yeah. I think everything, they don't care Yeah, he's more. the only other guy I thought was really cute besides your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think that, like, uh, do you guys believe in hall passes? Like, do, have you ever heard of that? <laughs> a hall pass is basically where you, after a while you've been with somebody, you give them a hall pass to cheat. Not oh. cheat, but if you wanted to, like, like let's I, say no, that I you guys believe, had a whatever celebrity Whatever it is, crush. I don't care what it is. I don't believe in no passing. <laughs> you don't play none of that. No, I don't none play of that. none of that. No. So no. back in the day, if you was freaky deaky, like, no, I'm not about to ask not, my It's not question. a freaky deaky. It doesn't have to be a freaky deaky thing. It's like a major celebrity. Like, mm -hmm. say y'all both have a big crush on a big celebrity, and it's like, okay, if you ever got a chance to talk to that celebrity for a night or two nights, whatever like could i do that it's like a hall pass okay if you ever met that person that's the one hall like if pass you ever met robert yeah. de niro well, back in the day yeah, yeah me and don like would have a good conversation with robert de niro yes <laughs> we would yeah. yeah my dad do not she play like that. my man coming right along <laughs> with me uh, okay let me see what's one what's one what's your favorite memory from shy's childhood and i'll tell you um, mine uh, I don't know everything. I love I love my baby. I love Shariel. I don't have I don't know if I have a favorite memory, mm -hmm. a favorite memory, when you were born. Oh. I don't know. I like that. My favorite memory growing up with my mom was. I was really like her little homegirl. Like we used really? to really be like yeah, shopping. That's right. She used to. We used to shop from day to night morning on like Saturday tonight. we get morning tonight we would get our little nails done we go to Burlington's she yes. like I'm gonna get you this person put it on Lailway and then in like two weeks I get my purse like I used to love that I was like oh this is a blast this is a ball yeah. so that's my favorite memory of yeah. like growing up with my child like my childhood like you were like my little bestie yes we were we were buddies but I have five daughters so yeah. I, we were, but all of us were buddies. Do but you, Shy is do the you, last one. Do you feel like because she's the youngest, she was in a way your favorite because you're like no, she's I don't the last. have any favorites. Mm. No, I don't have any favorites. Shy is the last. She's the last child that uh, mm -hmm. I would have. Yeah. So, you know that's that's the end of of, of childbirth. So yeah. she's special because she's the last. Mm. But uh, no, I don't have any favorites. That I have five daughters. Feelings. I love all of them. I know. And she always says she's, she's her favorite. And I treat them all the same. No, that was my favorite memory would be when you were born, I guess. I thought y'all cried because cry cause I was a, a girl. And then mommy oh, also, she's being very, she's being very coy. She said I was her ugliest child when yeah, I was Yeah, well, she was. <laughs> <laughs> she said I looked like a little alien because I pulled all my hair out. Were you skinny? 
as no, a baby? I she was, was a fat baby. Very no, big. actually, okay. she was the biggest baby. She really? Was not, she was eight pounds and 13 ounces. You know, I was almost a 10 pound baby. Wow. Yeah, literally. Really? I yes. thought I was like nine pounds, I was eight pounds. Uh, yeah, you were eight pounds. Dang, 13. yeah. Chunky babies for the win. Love mm -hmm. a little fat, chunky baby. I know, I love a good little chunky baby. Well, what is one quality Shy gets from you? She's an organizer. She likes to organize. She likes to keep things in order and balance. I love that perspective because yeah. you do be cleaning that house. AKA okay, bossy. That's, what, she, no, that's yeah. what she's me <laughs> when yeah. they be in town. She and likes you know, things to be in order, uh, not just in her house cleaning, but she likes things to be in order. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I love that. I think to me, I think you have, I think you completely skipped over your infectious personality as well. Mommy is mm -hmm. literally the type to. Go to a party, make everyone stand up and dance. She's like, let's have, like, literally the life of the party does not drink. She's just started drinking yeah. wine in her older age. I don't know what Ooh. it is. But, like, she's the literal life of a party. And, like, that's what I feel like I would take from you more than oh. anything else. Well, yeah, probably so, yeah. Very much so. Um, I have one. I have one. Uh, what is, what was slash is the hardest thing about motherhood, in your opinion? Oh, wow. There's so many um, ups and downs with motherhood because you think and do for every one of your, your kids, your, your spouse. You're uh, a giver. You give of your time to your, your spouse, your kids. You make the plans, the arrangements for your kids. You're, everybody's got to go to school. Everybody's got to eat. You need homework. You can clothes. You need food, shelter. You need time spent together. Mm -hmm. Uh, the hardest thing about motherhood, I would just say maybe teenage years. Really? Really? Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Being sassy and all girls at that. Teenage and years. mind you, y'all, my mom is a Gemini, so she a little throat off herself. <laughs> so imagine having yes. three Geminis. Two of my sisters are Geminis and my mother. And I have a Leo and a Scorpio. And I'm the Aquarius. So it's a lot of strong personalities up yes. in there. And my dad is a Taurus. But hey, daddy never did any disciplinary. Daddy never, daddy did, never, he did, he never anything. did anything. He never put a, a literal hand no. on me. Like if we were arguing, and I remember one time he did, he he, he shook me up real quick because I was like, what you going to do? I literally oh. said that when I was in ninth grade. I was like, I literally, because there's been multiple times I've done things and my dad wouldn't tell my mom about. Mm -hmm. So like he was like, your teacher called and I was like, so what? And he was like, so what? <laughs> and so the next day he bought me like a little teddy bear with like some Snickers attached to Aww. it and he felt so bad about just sh even shaking me up. You know what I'm saying? I have a, I'm not going to, I well I don't know if I could say it, but remember what I just told you the other day that I thought was hilarious that I think about all the time? What? About what your mom had called. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. My mom. I never, think about this all this the time. This is why I laughed. At, this is why I laugh when you say your mom used to talk to you crazy. Oh yeah. My mom has like never like called me like a b word. She did one time and I cried. She said she said something. She was like, "You acting like a." bitch like she thought about it and still said it i was like okay here we go but what she used to call all of my sisters all the time <laughs> yeah no, a imp a yeah imp. imp a imp and you I, little imps you little imp and she tell me what an imp is a devil <laughs> a devil a devil's little helper so she so i remember one time she wrote a note i'll never forget this she wrote a note and she spelled imp wrong <laughs> God would you think God would have been like, all right, maybe I shouldn't say this. Maybe I just shouldn't say imp. Maybe I should say something else about my loving child. So she did she erase this, seen the erase, and she ended up spelling imp right. I was like, okay, she wanna keep on she wanted she wanted to keep it in, you little imp. And I'm like, okay. I'll never forget one time, speaking of this, my mom wrote me an open letter on MySpace. Oh, yes. On MySpace? Oh, that's, Wait, like that's, in messages? That's, like, I don't know, that, she made I wrote some, a letter. Or on I, the wall. Yeah. On the wall, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, she posted it on the wall. I, and I, and I, I, I obviously made a joke about it. I <laughs> found, a way to, found a way to do it. I asked somebody, mm -hmm. to, how do I get this on there? Because Shy's always, like, you guys overshare. Mm -hmm. and her crusty panties issue. <laughs> well, she used to do that on... Um, I've always been very oh, really? open. Right. I've just been yeah. very... I've been me all of my life. When people... Right. This podcast, people are like, this is what you should have been doing because this has mm -hmm. literally been me my whole entire life. I was class clown and she yes. was like, you think that's an accomplishment? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, like, actually, <laughs> actually, it is. I was class clown yeah. and daredevil. I jump yeah. off the roof. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she... I had to write a letter because that... She's always overshared and she's also had a foul mouth in my absence. I don't See. use that that kind of vulgar language in my house. Yeah. But I don't know, Shy just picked up the ghetto and ran with it. <laughs> <The ghetto. laughs> 
<laughs> wait, so wait, what did the open letter say? It was just, I, you know how like on MySpace they used to have these like little quizzes and she was really mad that I said, I said one time I was like, my mom kissed me on the lips one time. <laughs> <Why would you? laughs> yeah. She was hot about that. She, I said something like jokingly. Obviously don't mind at all. But like I said something jokingly and she was just like, she. It, I went in, I was cursing. I was talking about yeah. lesbians, all talking about stuff. being a lesbian in my life or something like that. Just saying all type of stuff. Or oh, she's using vulgar language and you just thought like it was cool. Something yeah. that was cool. And it's not cool. Right. You know, the conversation wasn't cool. So, right. you know, you just have to be mindful of what you put out there. What you put in the inter out on the internet, it stays there. And it's sad. She's been struggling with that one for a while because she still be saying the same things to me. I have another one. Right. First impression of winter. Oh, that was a lot. There uh, was a lot of those questions. Uh, I was going to avoid it, but go ahead. Well, I have five daughters. I, yeah. I just thought she was a young lady and she's a good friend. She, if she's a good friend to you, you're a good, sh if she's your good friend, then you're a good, Shy is a good friend. Mm -hmm. So if she has a friend that's a good friend, it's because Shy is a good friend to you mm -hmm. and you're a good friend to her. Yeah. Shy's a good friend. She She's has a, a good friend. She has a good She's set of friends. She's my best friend in the whole world. She has a good set of friends here yeah. in uh, Los Angeles, which is something that we were concerned with mm -hmm. too, because you know. I just jumped off the porch. Yeah, she yeah. from South. We from South Louisiana. Yeah. And everything, we're close. Yeah, we <laughs> we're we're close. We're we're yeah. close people. We're close. Shy family. has a, a great group of friends too. Yeah. Like just even uh, she has so many like close best yeah. friends that like yeah. literally. But that is because she is such a good she's friend. a good Thank friend. You. Yeah. Love you guys. So in order to have a good friend, you be a good friend. Yeah. Mommy, so you're you a good friend. Take right? a page out of my book because remember that one time. <laughs> what? That one time you you know the story I'm about to tell. My mom has been upset. My mom has been with my dad since. You were 13, he was 15, you lied about your age. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Why are you going all back there? <laughs> look, but yeah, so she's been with my dad for that long. So my mom has only always kind of known my dad. And then she had kids at 18, 19 or whatever. Yes. So you, she's been like that. So she, her friendships, she's like, she has some solid friendships. Like, you've been friends with Miss Eileen for Ellen. years. Yeah. I'll never forget one time she was like, I don't want to talk to her right now. She ignored her phone call. So I literally was like, I'm going to call her right back. And so I called, I was like, hey, Miss Eileen. And she was like, oh. But she always has done that with her friendship. She'd be like, they'll be there. Wait, <laughs> why? But because she didn't um, want to talk to her? Uh, what? Why we had to go there? <laughs> she not going to watch this. She ain't going to watch this. Well, actually, Miss Ellen did ask me on my podcast before. <laughs> I, hope, I hope not. But no, my, I feel like Mommy has just been like, she's been so like invested in like being a mother and like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like being a, a, a wonderful wife and an mm -hmm. amazing mother. I'm like, now you, you, all your kids are grown. It's time mm -hmm. to go and, like, you know, go on a girl's trip. Yeah, do you have a lot of close friends, or do you feel no. like because you've had so Actually, many daughters and stuff? Actually, when you get older, you, the, you know who your real friends are, who are Ellie your friends. And you yeah. have, you don't have as many close friends. Mm -hmm. You have associates, mm -hmm. but you don't, you don't have as many close friends. Did you, you have, you like, a best friend, like, how close me and shy are like when you were our age or you were no. already a mother and a wife by then no my my best friend was my husband mm -hmm. and jesus was Very. that lonely <laughs> Amen. no it wasn't uh, mm -hmm. not at all because i had i found great joy with my girls mm -hmm. those were the happiest times of my life with my yeah. girls i feel like i would lose my mind if i didn't have my friends alongside with my relationship yeah. and my like children you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i need like a some girl me time. I'm a people person. You mm -hmm. know that. You just said when we go to a place, I'm I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. But I also like my downtime too. But mm -hmm. yeah. No, it didn't bother me at all. But also it's different for us because like we weren't married young. Yeah. We didn't have very kids true. very young. Like it's just different. And then I feel like if I was to have so many daughters and like be married like you kind of do have to put most of your time yeah, into those relationships like you don't have a bunch of time to just be having a bunch of friendships like right now we have all yeah, the time, all the time in the world. we're not gonna no kids, kids. Got kids. Yeah. like yeah. you know it is it is it is a like a, a reality a kind of a sad reality in a sense too because you do have to like kind of face those challenges when you get older and it's like mm -hmm. we go from talking every day or like every week to mm -hmm. like I gotta squeeze you in my schedule because right. I have so many kids, and like, right. I just honestly commend you, mommy, at how well, as an adult, I really see how well you held it all together, and mm -hmm. I will give you your graces, bow down to you forever because I just cannot, as a full fledged adult, cannot imagine how you did mm -hmm. it with all them children, mm -hmm. all them attitudes. 
every two weeks. Five little paycheck. You know what I'm five saying? Little five little imps. imps. Five little imps. <laughs> so, like, to this day, I'm still, like, she is literally Wonder Woman to me. And, like, I was talking to these girls the other day, and, like, neither one of them really kind of, like, had, like, a motherly figure in their life. And I just never really think of that. Mm-hmm. Like, I never... Can, I, I can understand maybe the dad a little bit because, yeah. you know, like I'm saying, like, it's just been shit. Yeah. But, like, it's never, like, I've never for once thought I could not imagine. I feel like, you know how when you said, when people be like, you never know a love until you have kids. Mm-hmm. I feel like that about my mom. She's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do try. As they get older, they do try to treat you like they're, you're, I'm the kid now because yeah. Yeah. they want to tell me, mommy, where are you going? What you doing? I, yeah, yeah, I do that to my mom too now. <laughs> it really, I feel like I have to protect my yeah. mom now and like now, I don't know, I'm just like, like, you know my mom be doing weird stuff. Like my mom just went on a camping trip by herself. Yeah. She does little random things like that and I'll be like, where are you at? What's yeah. the campsite? And tell me the address. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And like she's like, girl, I'm the mom, and I'm like, yeah. nah, nah, nah. The yeah. tables have turned. Right. Like, yeah, the tables have turned. <laughs> Especially know? like, right. it's also very weird to me too when like my mom tries to like take out her wallet. Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm oh. I'm an adult now. Like you didn't pay for me my whole life. See, like, my you know? thing is, is I let my mom pay for anything she want to pay with when I'm with her. But I'm gonna give her any money though. Really? She yeah, but she, I will give my mom anything. They don't no. let me pay for anything. I do not. I it's None like we reached them. that point where I was like, no, I'm not doing anything. I love being with my mom, and my mom pays for stuff. It makes me still feel like a kid. But my mom knows, like I. Yeah. I literally will give my mother anything. I'll pay for anything. I will send her thousands of dollars. Yeah. It's not a question and anything. So How I, for anything, I will send her thousands of dollars. Yeah. It's not a question and anything. So How I feel like a kid when my mom's in town and she has a jazz music playing. She makes me a nice little not, plate if she's with like some fruits here, and veggies. Yeah, no, I mean, if my mom's like in LA or something. Mm-hmm. No. no, even in Louisiana when I go home, my mom yeah. will like cook and like bring me a little plate. And I'm like, yeah. nobody gonna love me like her. I'll bring, <laughs> her gonna breakfast and bed. Like her. I'll bring them breakfast and bed. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is very cute. Um, I, I miss them. I'm, I'm happy for them. I know. I bet you do. I, miss them. Yeah. I would miss, if I had like five daughters, like I would miss them too. Like y'all just off doing your thing. I'd be yeah. like, come home. Like just be with oh, me. Oh yeah. But it, you know, I've always told them God made a big world and he made this world for you. Yeah. So don't just set your sights on this little 20 mile radius around home. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, so do go out, venture and yeah. experience what God has created for you. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. So, now that you like you know there's this thing going on on social media all the time like what do you put first your husband your kids or your parents what would you put first like what well, in what order no, does the it question, go? I, the question the question is who do you feed first I, who do you feed been, look the kids? I, oh oh no uh, no feed first i would feed um my husband in my household <laughs> i get my husband straight my husband is the breadwinner he takes care of the house he provides the food, the shelter, he pays the bills. I want to make sure he's comfortable and he's fed. Mm-hmm. And so what if the food runs out? I'm food, just kidding. No. <laughs> just kidding. Food will run out sometimes. No. And oh, like, okay. no, I mean, I'm like, after the husband, he's like, oh, yeah. Food run out? <laughs> anyway, we don't have no food run out. <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't know why no. she's keeping it coy again. Uh, no, no. They, so this is the thing. That's what I'm saying. I, I really you're appreciate talking, and I respect you. I think you're talking about the um, thing that said somebody was drowning, the people were drowning, and who would you save first? Oh, yeah. That, I think that, like the, that that's like no. the principle of the question. You never no. heard that question? Yeah, well, who would you save first then? I would I would save my kids because okay. they're younger. We Look, have now you're life. happy with the answer? Yeah, yeah we, we have grown to adulthood, mm-hmm. and we have lived life, and I would want you all to go on and live life. Mm-hmm. So I would save my yeah, kids. Facts. I, I appreciate that. How has, how have you been able to keep, I guess, marriage and like the love alive in your marriage for 49 years? Well, love is an action word, you know, and like it says, love covers a multitude of sins. Love covers everything. If you love someone, you can listen. If you love someone, you can acknowledge them. If you love someone, you can communicate with them. If you love someone, you can forgive them. If you love someone, you can grow with them. Mm. Love covers everything, and you have to have love. I think that's the best thing. You know, that's, that's the only thing, because you could say, well, what do you have to do? What do you do to make a, a marriage work? 
Well, you have to love each other. You have to love each other enough to grow with one mm-hmm. another because I'm not the same person I was when I was 15 or 13 mm-hmm. when I when I first met your dad or when we had our first child mm-hmm. or our second or third or fourth or fifth. Yeah. I'm not the same person I was last year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to love them enough to grow with them. Mm-hmm. And you have to be able to love them enough to understand that growth comes from each of you. Yeah. I respect that. I love that. You have to be able to communicate. Did you see the interview that Michelle Obama had? And she said that she did not like um, Mr. Barack Obama for like 10 years. She loved him, but she did not like him for 10 years. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Because they were beefing, right? They were were beefing, but they were still Mm -hmm. married. They were still together. So have there been times? Oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't like what he did or how he said or what. But I didn't like certain things, but I still loved him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I didn't like it. And sometimes I didn't like what you guys would do or say. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. Yeah. Yeah. But love is the key. You have to love. And 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 love, there's different loves. And yeah. when you're in a relationship, it's a love that you have to commit to. I'm committed to this. Yeah. You, yeah. When you're a teenager. You hear yeah. I hear it. <laughs> when, when you're a teenager or, or you're in college, you're going to like break up. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm finished with this. I'm done. Yeah. But when you're in love with someone, you're committed. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to commit. Yeah. To that. That's like something that even I am working on too, mm-hmm. because I will be quick to break up with my boyfriend. I'll be like, I'm d- I'll be done with you right now. I'll yeah. leave you. Yeah. And like, I have to stop doing that because he yeah. he said things like, I feel like you could just replace me because you say those things like you could just yeah. leave me. And like, mm. we're in this together. We're partners. Right. Like, and he is very adamant about that. We are partners. I'm on your team. Like, we not breaking up. Like, we're yeah. going to grow together yeah. and learn together. And I just be like having these moments of like, I'll leave you right now. Yeah. You think I give up? You know? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. yeah, that's good to hear. Say think, what you mean and mean what you say. Yeah. You're not going to leave. Don't keep saying Yeah, don't keep saying it. I will agree with that yeah. because I've been there too. And then it's just like your word don't hold no, no value yeah. anymore. Yeah. So it's just like you ain't leaving. Yeah. You're going to stay right here. But when you really mean it, you ain't going to say nothing about it. Yeah. So I have another one. Um, what is the biggest mistake as a mom? She looks, she's looking at the time. We got to get these content. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest mistake been as a mom Do you feel like that you feel like? Um. Well, I don't know about the biggest mistake, but it would be breaking generational curses would be the best thing about being a mom because you carry what you learned, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and and that is a mistake to bring that into my mother mothering my motherhood. Mm-hmm. to bring him from what I learned from generation, yeah. which my le- mother learned from generation mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. So that, that's... That's, that's the, the best thing you could yeah. do. Yeah. You've been Cre- media, you've been media trained. Creating she's been media trained, she been, y'all. You've been, she know you, what you to say. know what to say. Breaking mm-hmm. generational curses yeah. is the main thing. I can agree with that for sure. Yeah. But I feel like in everything that I... Anything that I w- would take from you is all things that I would be willing to, I don't feel like I would break anything. The only thing I probably think I would break is your neediness to nag. Sometimes. <laughs> That's not like a terrible thing. She's antagonizing no, sometimes. But because I recognize the generation, what, what went mm-hmm. on generation mm-hmm. and things that I've carried into my life, mm-hmm. I'm creating new, new paths mm-hmm. so that that doesn't go forward with you. Mm-hmm. Or then, or you're the next generation that you produce. So, yeah. So that's it. You got anything else? I loved it. No. Do you know when your daughters lost their virginity? Oh, <laughs> the tea. The tea. Okay. Before you answer that, think about Why it. Why would you ask me that? I will never forget. I don't forget. even want to think about your virginity now as an adult. <laughs> she, you're still a virgin. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll never forget when I first got my cycle and I told my mom, I was like, I don't know why. I think I told this story on here, but I was like, please don't tell daddy. Please don't tell daddy. Literally. I don't know why. I just wanted to keep it a secret. Literal next day, my dad walks out in the kitchen. We're in the oh, kitchen. Oh, yeah. Think you a woman because you're squirting now. Huh? Yeah. I was like, why would you tell him? <laughs> it's so funny. So nasty. <laughs> but um, I know you are just ready to be done with this. I just want to say 
What? I, I, I want to tell you, give you guys some advice. Don't emaciate these men, these your relationships that you're, with, you're in. Stop. Don't chop these men up. Give them some grace. God's giving you guys grace. So give them some grace. I agree. Don't give them too much leeway. I have a but great give man. them some grace. I'm, I'm going to give him grace and I'm going to treat him with more femininity and softness moving forward because I need to work on that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Me too. And I want to keep them, so, you know, yeah. I got to be and a little... Keep your hands yeah. to yourself, because... Oh, you don't got to tell me that. <laughs> oh, I that's know your you daughter. are. She missed... Oh, heck she no. She lay lie Lee over here. You're a liar. She's literally <laughs> no. telling a lie. I've, yeah. I've never... Keep your hands, hands to on yourself. On <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, give them some grace. Okay. And stop sharing all of their business on the podcast. Share your business. <laughs> Agree. Agreed. <laughs> Okay, I enjoyed being here. <laughs> Did thank you, you for thank coming. You, thank you for inviting me. Yes. Thank you for coming, Mom. And I coming. wish you all the very best of luck. I, I pray God's grace is over you all every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. We love me. you. We love you. And I love all of your fans, all of the people who they want love you too. They love you too. They love you too. I read all of y'all comments. Oh, she, oh my, God. She, my mom, I told y'all this before, is obsessed. She literally, I blocked her on my stories before, and she found a way to look at them still. She'd be like, I seen what she was posting like, on I your got story. a fake page. Exactly. <laughs> Not her having a finsta, but we love you, mommy. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. All right, thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. All right. You um, did so good. You did?